Hey guys, so welcome back to Sign by Simmage Art. Um, the piece you're looking at now is a piece that I did, it's a painting I did a, a while back. Um, I was trying out some new techniques and some uh, new sample paints, um, but I wasn't really thrilled about how this piece turned out as a whole. It looks a little messy on the edges, um, uh, especially on this end here. And some of the colors are kind of cool, but it's a little bit muddied in a couple of spots. Um, however, it did inspire me to do something different. So in this video, you'll be seeing me turn this piece into something bright and colorful um, and different. So as you can see, I've cleaned up the edges quite a bit. Um, I did clean the canvas ahead of time to take some of the silicone off of the surface that settles after the paint dries. And then I added some white to clean up the edges and I let that dry completely. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting some fresh white paint on here, just mixed with some pouring medium because I'm going to be doing a little bit of pouring here. And I'll be using the Magenta by Liquitex. It's just magenta and white here at the beginning and then I would be coming back in with some fluorescent pink just gonna go nuts my original intention here was to kind of mix this pink in over the canvas and make a big pink flamingo feather but to leave some of the original painting showing through um, as you'll notice part way through here I decided that it just wasn't gonna look right if I left uh, the other colors showing through um, I even thought about blowing the pink across the canvas in a thin layer so that it was still a little translucent but none of that was gonna look right it was still gonna look messy um, or incomplete so I end up covering the whole original painting, but sometimes that's just how it works. Um, sometimes we become inspired to do this awesome painting and we get started and we do the painting uh, and it turns out perfect. Sometimes uh, you, you can't find inspiration so you just gotta start painting. And once you've started painting, you find inspiration in the painting that you've started. That's just kind of how my process works. So I always got to be doing something. So I've pulled out the blow dryer here. As you can see, I'm trying to move the paint around um, a lot quicker and get a larger spread on my crazy feather here. This is uh, meant to be a background, actually. This is not the main piece so you may be thinking this is even messier than it was before but this is a uh, background so I was inspired by the last piece um, to do uh, some silhouettes of birds on a telephone wire and I did take some pictures of a telephone wire on my way home from my studio space there was a collection of wires and I liked the the way the birds were sitting it was a, just a cool composition and I thought I gotta find a piece that I can add this to and, and I thought this looked like a bird feather originally the shape so I wanted to do something with pinks in it I thought about a flamingo and I thought, how goofy would it be if a flamingo tried to sit on a telephone wire? So that's my whole inspiration behind this piece. So I used to like painting in more of a realism style, but lately I've been very into painting things that are a bit more abstract and suggestive instead. It's a big, bright, splashy background of something that's blown up real big, and then a black silhouette on top of that um, that indicates exactly what it is that you're looking at. So real quick, this is my son Landon. He was standing there talking to me and he wanted to photobomb my video, so I let him. So here I'm finishing up my flamingo friend here with some little tail feathers. Um, I love the way that this turned out. 
he is, I feel like he is my spirit animal. <laughs> He's so goofy. Uh, it almost seems like the other birds are whispering about him. What is he doing? <laughs> So thank you for watching guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit like and then subscribe so that you can see more of my work as I continue to post videos. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram at Signed by Simich, just like in the title of my YouTube page, um, or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Signed by Simich. I'll be coming out with some merchandise soon, hopefully, that I can sell and then um, if you are interested in buying any of my paintings, you can also contact me on my Facebook page. Thank you for watching. I see you too.